Wait, is my mic on? Is my mic on? Yes. Is your mic on? I don't think so. I'm gonna double check my mind. Um, but like, yeah, like I said, we, uh, when we're done with the bottles, we'll just move it here if you want to side by side them. Beep. Beep. I get you. I got myself. Um, both of them obviously start on the left, I guess. Left here. Yeah, my left. It's always so hard to start. I'm Jake. And I'm AJ. And we are the, the Neck Poor Boys. Boys. Today, we have two finished um, whiskeys, bourbons coming to you from Barrel and Starlight Distillery. Um, I've personally been wanting to try this for a very long time. He's been yapping about it for ages. It's been impossible <laughs> to get. Um, more recently, you can get it at Sealbacks and other places. And Barrel also had a rendition that they did too. Yep. Um, so Mizunara is a Japanese type of oak. Uh, it's got a really thin, crooked kind of structure as a tree. So it's obviously hard to make a stave and cut it correctly to the right size for a normal bourbon barrel. Uh, so that's why it's supposed to be more rare to be used in bourbons and things that are finished in Mizunara uh, staves. But uh, I'm surprised that barrel did it, honestly. They're, they're master blenders at this point. I don't think they distill any of their own juice, but um, AJ, once he's done pouring, we'll go through like the actual blend. I don't think Starlight really did any sort of blend, but uh, this is a seven-year age statement. Um, but I'm sure they blend because it's a batch, obviously, yeah. just all of the similar it's not barrels a single together. Barrel. Yeah, yeah. It's just not a single and barrel. for the blend components of the, of the barrel, it's six, seven, and nine-year Indi Indiana was uh, blend component. Kentucky's eight year and Tennessee is eight and 14 year. And the mash bill is 76% corn, 20% rye and malted barley to the other 4%. And it's interesting because it says there's 14 year barrels in here. It doesn't say what percentage or anything, but this is age stated at six years. So I'm assuming the majority of this the is blend is it six, to be six, but it's interesting that the minimum age statement is still the minimum of the blend and there's higher aged bourbons in here so i'm assuming they like, are kind of required to do that because that's what the minimum age is kind of the same way that like um eagle rare 17 or whatever can be 18 plus years I yeah think it, it just needs to be a minimum yeah, yeah. of all the barrels that they're blending the together line. yeah so i guess that makes sense uh we have the starlight on the left correct yes i do like this little uh tag it's got some weight to it for the starlight i'm, I'm gonna wear it later it's gonna be my <laughs> chain i can't fit it maybe, but, maybe an um, earring, but the uh one thing to note the starlight is 116 proof and the barrel is i didn't memorize this i apologize 116.42 so extremely Pretty similar close. yeah like basically within one proof point so let's smell this. Are you starting with the, yeah, outside. Are you, oh, yeah. you're doing that? Oh, outside. Yeah, okay. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we did left to right. I smell vanilla right off the bat. Yeah. Very easy. Maybe a little bit of caramel. I, I don't get anything that's astringent, and we just opened the barrel. I get like a caramely candy corn kind of sniffer on this bad boy. You want to push them over? Oh, wow. I didn't even see on the back. Yeah, they have the tree. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> it's got like Japanese on it. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, that's cool. I like that. We're gonna keep this for sure. It's kind of like those uh, Jack Daniels dog tags for the yeah. hero selection. I have some just sitting over there. Let's see what this bad boy tastes like. Right out of the gate, pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie. But it, it fades pretty quickly. The oak and vanilla kind of finishes it down, but it is a little hot. I definitely get like vanilla just sitting on my tongue. I like that. Everyone knows I'm just a vanilla hoe when it comes to bourbon notes. Can you say that? I can say that. I can say whatever I want. Here's the neck for boys. <laughs> Ooh. 
I'm curious how this is going to be in multiple weeks. I feel like this is going to even out that heat in the beginning, but obviously it's still not like unpalatable. It's not too hard to go down. It is almost 120 proof, but I'm not getting, I thought I would get more complexity. Honestly, I'm getting it's like very just, one dimensional. Yeah. I'm getting just mainly vanilla and sweet Oak. I feel like, but I don't think I'm getting anything like characteristics specific to a different kind of Oak, like from Japan. No, the only Mizunara finish I've had was from a Japanese whiskey. And that was a completely different profile, like malty, just more of a scotchy kind of flavor like Japanese whiskey is. But I feel like I can't differentiate this specifically from like something else from barrel. That's just like their normal single barrels or whatever. I do get like a single malt kind of vibe to this at the end when it finishes. But I mean, other than that, it's, as you said, it's, it's very one dimensional. I, I don't, there's nothing that really like stands out for me, which is like the first time you said that. But I mean, MSRP on this one is uh, 90 or around 80 plus tax around there. Um, the Starlight, I think, was going for, what, 150. 150 or so? Well, we haven't had it. We yet. haven't had it, but um, for the price point, I still think this is pretty good. I mean, mm. I just wish I had something more standout-ish from something that's, like, labeled Mizunara. You just wouldn't finish. know that it was Mizunara. Yeah. You would just think this was I, – I, I think this is a scotch, like, immediately. I like it, though, either way. I just expected something different, I feel like. I'm getting more, like, more normal bourbon characteristics without, like, or that fruit. I don't really get like fruit cherry kind of stuff from mm -hmm. it. Um, but all right, let me actually, yeah, rinse you. So this guy over here is thinking this is going to be the star of the show. Very okay. curious. Not a big comparison to go against. Ooh, I like that the smell. The nose is really good. I like the smell a lot. It's more of Red like berry, a. berry, vanilla. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a creamy creamy vanilla from this it's like got a different viscosity like through the the not the vapor like through the air that's coming through my nose <laughs> this kind of reminds me of that a perfume yeah it's very uh like pungent for that soft kind of creamy vanilla but it kind of reminds me of the smell of that uh 1974 beam car from the smell for some reason it was like that very soft like Vanilla, vanilla from it. cola. Oh, I'm, yeah. Definitely that cola, too. I'm not getting well, much... with the car, I remember the cola. Well, I'm getting that from the smell now. Maybe it's just like you say words and then, like, I'm just thinking about it while I smell it, but I see what it tastes like. I feel like initially definitely more easygoing down. I'm definitely getting a lot more depth and complexity from this one. I don't know what that flavor is in the middle. But I get more like fruit on the palate from this uh, as opposed to the barrel. What are you thinking? So I, I think way more complex. It almost goes in waves. You get that initial hit of vanilla, almost goes into a red berry. And it doesn't have the scotch kind of finish at the end where the barrel had. I think that the vanilla creaminess that I'm getting is kind of overpowering that almost like single malt flavor. Because I didn't get that that much from the barrel. but um I, I know what you're talking about i can see like a little hint of it it kind of dances on your tongue with the vanilla too at the end yeah, I, it's I, just sitting i like it a lot yeah and it's it's very thin it's not i don't i don't there's no like viscosity to it doesn't really have any legs either it, it didn't sit at all i, I was doing this earlier <laughs> yeah. and I, I was, it's funny you said that yeah it's like seems very thin but it doesn't taste thin i like that a lot all right we got to get to the slaps after this sip I am going to go for, on the barrel, glad you're going first. I'm going to say six. I think it's good. I think it's something that $90 is probably pushing a tiny bit, but I wouldn't be upset. And I'm not upset. I mean, we bought it. <laughs> but um, I, I think it's like, it's good. I think this is good. But the Starlight, which is interesting because I feel like Starlight isn't as like, coveted of a distillery in general. I think they are actually getting up there at this point. Yeah. And I really want to try their family reserve or whatever they call it. Like they're trying to compete with the special like Willet kind of bottles. But this, I'm going to say like eight, eight and a half almost. Yeah. And Obviously from, it is a little more jumping price. Though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's an extra $60 difference. But um, yeah. for the barrel, I, I was like really like, 
I almost bought this before the starlight. I'm a little disappointed, but I'm going to go with Jake, like five and a half, six, especially at the price point. Um, with the Mizanara for the starlight, I really hyped this bottle up. I'm glad you're right. <laughs> I think I think it delivers. It doesn't over deliver. Yeah. It doesn't under deliver. Yeah. I understand the hype. Yeah. I'm going the same range with Jake. It's like an eight, eight and a half. Being able to get this on the seal back store anywhere yeah. at just retail is like absolutely awesome. Would I get another bottle to like back it up? Not at the moment because there's so many out there, but it definitely met expectations. It's not like blown. Yeah, blown you were hyping it up, and I think it met that. I don't think it excelled that, no. but that's not a bad thing. Like, yeah. This is what we were hoping it was going to be. Very interesting. Um, normally, I would blend these, but I think the Starlight's going to be better off by itself and the barrel's going to be better off by itself, but maybe another day. But cool. Thank you, guys. Um, let us know what you think if you've had either of them. If you're interested, if you have any questions, um, but, any other Mizanars you had, any other yeah, any other recommendations, because this is the beginning of the Mizanara journey that we've started. Yeah. Um, but these are two very different things, and we're kind of curious about what else is out there. But I'm Jake. No, I'm AJ. We are the Neck Board Boys. Interesting. Very interesting.